Hello, and welcome to this series of videos on Ramda. So what's Ramda, and why would you want to use it? Well, it's a library with a bunch of nice functions similar to Lodash, but the similarity between Ramda and Lodash are pretty superficial. In fact, the way you use Ramda is quite different from how you'd use Lodash, and different in a good way. So how is Ramda different? Well, Ramda was thoughtfully designed to solve the same types of problems as Lodash, but the way Ramda goes about solving these problems is simpler and more flexible. You'll see what I mean by simplicity and flexibility in this series of videos. Ramda embraces functional programming concepts like function purity, immutability, currying, and function composition. Okay, so what do these things do for you? Well, these concepts offer many things, but if I had to sum up the benefits into a single sentence, I'd say with Ramda and functional programming in general, you're able to create sophisticated logic with the simplest code possible. Another way of saying this is you can create the same sophisticated programs you're building today with simpler code. How is that possible? Well, just keep watching and you should understand what I mean. Okay, before we dive in, let me set the stage for you. Imagine you've just landed a nice six month contract and the employer doesn't care where you live. So you've decided to try out the digital nomad lifestyle. Now, the first question you might ask yourself is, where should I travel to? Well, I've got this list of popular digital nomad cities, but there's a hundred cities in the list, and that's way too many cities to visit in six months. So let's pick the top 10 cities from this list based on our own custom scoring criteria. We'll use Ramda to help us figure out which 10 cities we should consider traveling to. Let's take a look at one of the city records, Bangkok, Thailand. You see a few different attributes that should weigh into our decision. The cost, the temperature, which unfortunately is in Kelvins, and then we see the humidity and the internet speed. Now, I don't know about you, but temperatures in Kelvins doesn't mean a whole lot to me. So let's start by transforming the temperatures in our list of cities from Kelvin to a unit of measure we're more familiar with, and that's what we'll do in the next video. By the way, if you wanna follow along with me, You'll need to install a current version of Node, which you can get at nodejs.org, and you should clone my Git repo at github.com slash nothen slash ramda tutorial. 